Alex Rosa has 18 years on an Explorer 2 serviced once when it was six years old. Okay, so it's an 18 year old Explorer 2 minimum. Should it go to a Rolex or an independent watchmaker to save? I would say first of all, you have to ask, does this independent watchmaker have the ability to get parts if this Correct. minimally serviced watch winds up needing them? The, the problem with, I, I won't say it's the problem with Rolex, but the serv some of the service issues with Rolex are great wheel. Uh, the great wheels do wear out, they get a little ridge in them, and it's, it's very fine, and if the watch, if, if you're not working with a watchmaker that's familiar with this, that knows the watch, they may, they may think it's fine, they may think the great wheel is fine, and it actually increases the friction of the watch, you're going to lose amplitude on it, you're going to lose power reserve even after it's been serviced, and you're going to shorten the lifespan before the next service. And that's what we look at. A lot of the watches, uh, 7750 especially, we take that watch apart. There's parts inside there we change if the watch is more than five years old because we don't know the next time that watch is going to be serviced. We don't want to put another five or ten years back on those same parts. And you know, this is important. And same thing with Rolex. With, with Rolex movements, I know they have a reputation as absolutely bulletproof. Different generations of them do have peculiar traits that sometimes require extra work. I mean, the post yeah. on the, the intermediate the, the wheel on the 3135. Yeah, 3135 post. Explain that yeah. a little bit so they know what you mean. It's, by again, that. it's a lubrication problem. Uh, 3135 actually doesn't like to be set. And the, it's the second intermediate wheel uh, underneath there. The wheels are identical, but they're very small wheels. It's on a post on the main plate and it actually cuts into the main plate. And once it starts cutting, it just grinds itself into it. And there is a repair for it, and it, that watch should go to Rolex though for that repair. And what they're doing, I believe they're sleeving that just to make it a little more durable. So oftentimes, parts needs arise in the course yeah. of routine service. The fact that you've got a watch that's had one service in the better part of two decades mm -hmm. means it should go to Rolex, mm -hmm. or at the very least, if a you're... A Rolex certified watchmaker with, with access to parts. Exactly. It's up to date certified Rolex watchmaker. They still exist, they're necking down, but there are yeah. still independent watchmakers with Rolex parts accounts.